hi everybody welcome back to my channel so i've been gone for a while uh, as i have been but i do have some cool exciting news i did get a chance to go to tokyo and i'm really grateful for that experience and with that i of course bought a ton of lolita things and non-lolita things which I'm going to show you. Um, I think I will do a Lolita only haul for this video, but if anyone's interested in knowing what else I've purchased while I was in Japan, um, I might do another haul. I don't want to make this longer than it already probably will be, so let's just get into it. First, I want to talk about my cord. I hopefully can put a video of myself here totally forgot to mention my whole cord so I'm wearing vintage sketcher sandals, meta socks, a meta skirt, a baby the starshine bright wrist cuffs, an emily temple cute tank top, and then the bonnet that I'm wearing in the video that I explained. My cord today is I'm wearing the super cute sax blue soft bonnet that I got from this boutique. Boutique? in La Forêt, I believe. Oh, just kidding. It was not La Forêt. I got this in uh, the Shinjuku Annex. And it was just like a boutique that had like Lolita things. It, I don't think any of them were like the bigger brands. They were probably like indie or something. I, I wasn't really looking at all the tags, but... Um... Oh, it says this card can be used as a coaster. That's interesting. <laughs> but yeah, so that's where I got it at. They had like a red one as well that I thought about getting. And they were like like 30 or 3,000 yen. So it was like a pretty good deal. And I kind of want to get more sax blue, as you can see from this purchase as well. Um, but I don't have a whole lot of sex blue in my wardrobe, so I'd like to get more because I do think it's a really cute colorway and um, I've been inspired by a lot of sex blue only Lolitas and I think they look super cute. So I'd like to try to do some more sex blue, but that was like one of the first purchases I bought. This was actually, it was like earlier in the trip and I got the I got a chance to meet Ribbon, which if you don't know Ribbon, they're like super super cool with their history in Lolita, like just like old school coordinates. They do awesome old school coordinates. Like I'm always inspired by their cords. They're so cool. The pictures are so sick that they always take. Like it just encapsulates the vibe so well. But I got a chance to meet up with Ribbon and um, they showed me around a ton of places um, in Shinjuku and Harajuku and it was just it was like such a wild day like it was so hot outside we were like sweating <laughs> and running all over the place but it was awesome and I spent so much money um, but yeah so thank you so much Ribbon for bringing me along it was awesome meeting you and i really enjoyed our time together moving forward we'll just talk about these puppies really quick i bought these um kind of on a whim because i have the black uh well they're white and then black ribbon roof cuffs from baby the star shine bright and i really like them a lot um i bought these blue ones because i literally bought these ones this or this bonnet and i was like that would be really cute together so I did that because I was like, you know what, I want to get a bunch of like filler items that I just don't have a lot of or I have some of and I like need to get new ones. So I bought these and these were uh, 3,850 yen, but I actually got tax free, so 3,500 yen, um, which is a pretty good deal, especially because the yen's down right now um, in comparison to the USD. So. I spent a lot of money, don't judge me. <laughs> I saved up a lot for this trip. So yeah, basically going forward, this is all gonna be out of order. Uh, I'm just kind of grabbing stuff out of the bags that I bought. So next up, let's do my Metamorphose purchase. 
and it was really cute because the shop girl at Meta like noticed me wearing the ivory Meta uh, OTKs um because what I bought was two pairs of socks um but these ones were over the knee high socks so I got a white pair because you always could use white and then I got a black and white pair. I'm actually like wearing these in my cord today. I just took them off to show you. Um, but yeah, I think these are especially cute. I don't, I'm sure they had an all black pair. I don't know why I didn't buy them. I kind of wish I did, but I bought so many socks during this trip. So I should be good, but I, I, I am kind of like, why didn't I buy an all black pair? But that's okay. I love meta socks. I think they're like, so over the top in the cutest way possible like they're the most dolly thing ever and i love them so i'm really happy that i got more socks from them so now i have three pairs of meta socks so here's the i'll try to show all the shopping bags but this is the meta bag that i got cute they also had like the nurse op that was like that's on pre-order right now on display so that was really cool to see um but yeah, like this was, I believe, in La Foray in the basement. Um, and that's like kind of where all like the Lolita brands are. Next, we have uh, an Alice and the Pirates. They also held baby stuff because, you know, like they're together. But this one I think was in La Foray and it was like advertised as Alice and the Pirates only. So like there wasn't a baby around for my memory but I bought these socks because I've been admiring these short socks for a while um I just think lace is like so cute like I love me a heart lace especially like the waffle heart lace like that's so cute um and I wear short socks a lot like in the summertime like that's my go-to and if you know me and like my cords like I do often do that but a lot of my short socks are like Getting, they're getting into retirement age and they're not like uh I mean like they're not bad quality necessarily they're not like brand but um I don't necessarily know if that equates to good quality but I'm happy I got this I have this big bag of baby which by the way I also have this bag of baby I could have gotten like a bigger version of the paper bag because obviously the paper bag is like iconic and like it's beautiful like and high quality and you feel like you went to a, like a very high class boutique which it is um and the shop girl asked me like when I bought the this a bigger purchase with that big bag that I showed you if a choice between the plastic or the paper and I chose the plastic because I didn't have a plastic I already had the paper and I do have an already paper baby bag back at home um from when I visited San Francisco so I figured I should get like the, the plastic one and this one is like the pink one so it's like the old baby bag not like the white one <laughs> which I dislike a lot um and so yeah I'm happy I got that uh so I got more socks an all white pair, a black and white pair with a black ribbon, and then an all white pair with a pink ribbon. I kind of wish that I had one with a blue ribbon so it matched this all good up. I don't know if they had that or not, but I didn't buy it obviously. But these were pretty well priced. They're like 3,200 yen. So can't beat that. I mean, obviously you can get these online, but you don't have to pay shipping when you're in person, so. And then I also got the all white to version of these socks because like I told you guys like now I have so many socks like I I can't complain about the socks that I have like like this is all socks <laughs> though I still want some socks like I do want um I do still want the black and white striped pair of baby socks and or the blue pink or red version of those two honestly all of them I'd want all of them maybe I'm a sock hoarder but I do wear them all they're like I actually wear them so <laughs> it's worth it to me another thing that I bought that I'm in love with is this adorable um head bow 
from like the crochet straw i don't remember what the actual series is called but the crochet strawberry like series that they had i know baby and angelic pretty both had releases involving crochet strawberries and as an old schooler like you kind of just by default love crochet strawberries or crochet anything um and i crochet so obviously like i love this kind of crap <laughs> And it was more on the expensive side. I think it was like 7,000 yen um, around that. But like with the yen being down, it's like what, like $55? I don't know, something like that. But it was worth it to me, especially because at the time, I'll put a picture of my cord. Um, I was wearing like a white and ivory cord and this just goes perfectly because it's white and ivory. And I'm a fan of mixing the two. Like I know that like, that's like something that is like, or was more taboo when I was like, when I was getting involved in the fashion, it seemed like you couldn't really mix those things. Um, obviously these are all rules that aren't real rules that you need to follow anywhere. I'm not a very big rule follower. I don't really believe in them that much, but it was more of a thing of like, that's a tricky thing to coordinate, but I love it. And so this is the epitome of mixing that together. Plus I had strawberry, um, wrist cuffs on that you can see in the picture, but those were baby, but, uh, those were not baby, those were body line. Probably rips off of babies, but I don't know, old body line. <laughs> so really, really happy with this. This has like been a dream item that I'm sure like if I watch any of my old videos about what I want in my wardrobe, it'll be in there. And if it's not, I did want this thing anyways. A parasol and this is an ivory parasol they didn't have a white parasol but ivory worked especially with my outfit obviously matched this perfectly and you know what as I used this parasol for the rest of my trip because in Japan everyone uses parasols which is smart I don't know why that's not as frequent in America everyone I suggest you get some UV protected parasols wear your sunscreen skin cancer is real this is adorable um i don't want to open it because there's not a lot of room that i have but you can see it in the picture of my cord it's so cute my favorite part is this like rhinestone detail it's just i love it um but i've used i used this so much when i was in japan and um where i live now is so sunny so I know I'll be using it a bunch. And this was like, I think this was 7,000 yen too. It's like something around that uh, price range. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was around there. So not a bad deal in my opinion. I did a stop at Nile Perk, the super adorable tote bag that they gave me with, the, with my purchase. Like, it says Nile Perk on it. It's so cute. Like, I love them for that. So I went to Nile Perch. I got, uh, I got some stickers, which I would show in my other video if I do like a different haul video of other stuff I got. Um, I honestly kind of wish that I got barrettes too because those were so cute. Um, but I got this really cute t-shirt. It's an Alperj on it and it has a bow. I wear a lot of red in like my everyday so I thought that was like pretty cute and then and then I also got this t-shirt with these little cherub angels on it this is now perch really light um I mean I know that like I know like cherub angels are kind of like really in right now so like I was kind of like in between getting it or not because I'm like well I don't want it to look like it's from like just any big name store like I'd want it to look very like Nile Perch but I don't know I really thought it was really cute so I went with that and then I got some stickers like I said I forgot I also got a pink a dusty pink pair of meta socks see I told you I got like so many socks but like I don't know if it reads well but it's like an ivory-ish dusty pink color which like this was like their pink colorway um I thought it was really beautiful. I'm gonna have to see how it goes with like some of my pink stuff. 
on my ivory things. I think it could be really interesting, maybe even with some mints though. But I have to see how it styles because it could be kind of tricky, but it's so cute. Like it looks so antique. I love that. Please go over what I got from Angelic Pretty. So like, in my opinion, there's a lot of cute stuff from Angelic Pretty, even though it's like very modern, there is some really cute stuff that they have sometimes, especially in the accessories department. And they had like their little crochet stuff going on too. Um, and they had this crochet strawberry headdress. And like, yes, it has mesh lace, but I feel like when you put it on, it doesn't like, you can't like tell really. And like, um, the mesh lace is really cute. Like, it's just like the details are really cute on this. Like the strawberry like trim. And then like the little pearl with the daisy, like, or the strawberry flower, like that's so cute, man. So, and the coolest thing was like, this was the last one they had. So that was kind of like, damn, okay. And they had like the cutest little top hats, like which I'll put a little picture. Like, I'm not sure you guys have seen it. I think they're on sale right now, like maybe just for a day because it's on a summer sale. I was so tempted by those things, but my thing was like, they're so cute, but when do I wear like mini top hats? When have I ever wanted to wear a mini top hat? And I'm not, I'm not dissing the mini top hat by any means. It's just never been anything I've ever been that interested in for my own personal style. And I can already tell that it would be like really annoying for me on my head. Um, <laughs> so I was really tempted cause they're like so cute, but like, it was really expensive for something that I think is really cute, but I probably won't wear it as much. I don't know, it just didn't add up. So I got the headdress instead and I'm really happy with it. It's so cute. And I have like so many black and white items. So like, it just made sense that I got this. Um, Yeah, I'm so happy with that. And then this thing is obviously not old school, but I don't really care. Like I like, outside of old school stuff. I have like a bunch of different like styles that I like to wear. Like I do like to just wear like cute, cutesy things. Um, and so I thought this would be like perfect for just like everyday, like outside of Lolita cutesiness. Um, and it was like this bag, I forgot what it's called. It's like some kind of heart bag, but um, it comes with like a little coin purse. That's a cherry, like that's adorable. Um, I thought that like, I liked the bubble effect. I think this is like a restock item, so it must be kind of popular. I don't know if it reads well, but there's like a glitter like window in here. Um, and they showed like a lyrical bunny that was like sticking her head out, which I thought was so cute. Like, I do think lyrical bunnies are really cute too. They're just a little expensive for me in comparison to Kumia's where I feel like Kumia's are higher quality in my opinion a little bit for the price. So I'll probably put a kumia, like that little baby kumia that you can't see up there like in here, which is like, ooh, scandalous cause the brands be mixing. But in this household, we do that. Um, But I thought this was like such a cute bag. And then plus like, um, I was like, oh, like, I don't think this looks like it would peel, but I was like talking with Ruben. I was like, do you think this would peel? And they were like, no, like this for sure is like good. So, that's why I was like, okay, that makes it worth it to me. Cause like, it's really hard to find Lolita bags that have material that won't peel. As stupid as that is, because you spend so much money on them, you'd think that they would, you know, last, but. <laughs> um, it also has this back pocket, which is nice. And then like, it has a pocket inside. And yeah, I just thought like, this was so cute. Like, I don't really care if it's not like, old school like i just think it's like so cute for the everyday like maybe it gives very like 2010s i don't know but i kind of vibe with it yeah i wanted to show i got an ap bag my first ever ap bag because when i went to the um san francisco store i just got like a normal pink paper bag that had nothing on it so pretty happy got it I got that. So I went to the man store, which was super fun. Like I really enjoyed, this was like one of my favorite experiences out of my whole trip in Japan. And um, I really like thank Ribbon for that because 
like one i don't know if i would have found this shop on myself by myself like i mean from my memory i was kind of like out of it at this point because like <laughs> i was like so heat stricken and I was I was just going through it. I was just focusing on surviving the heat because it was so humid. <laughs> um, so this is like where my mind was going silent. So Ribbon, thank you for leading the way. I have only one piece by them, which was, I don't know if you guys can recall at all, but it's like this black and pink OP that I think it's like super cool because it's like super versatile. Like the, the sleeves attached, the collar detaches. So it's cool you can wear it in so many different ways. Um, so, yeah, I got, we went there, and this was the coolest experience to me because, to me, like, it was so, like, in the middle of, like, like, a little kind of hallway, uh, stairwell almost area, like, kiosk thing, and, like, like, the cash register area was, like, you could tell, like, just a very lived-in little mini office kind of space with, like, binders and stuff probably from, like, old catalogs and things. It was just a very, like, cool experience because it was, like, very, like, it felt very, like, real and not, like, big business in any way. Like, I mean, all of these stores are smaller stores and boutiques, like, obviously, even Baby and AP, as much as they are big and, and meta and, and stuff, it's, like, there still are like boutique stores like they still are niche fashion stores like even if they're in a shopping mall um and i just felt like this one was like super like very like kiosk like down to earth feeling um and uh, we kind of we started communicating um with the guy who was working there through google translate and um it, ribbon was mainly doing all this i was kind of like somewhat involved in the conversation by being like yeah yay <laughs> but um it was really cool to talk with him and like um talk about like he's been working there for like 26 years and we were like well it did, didn't like it start in like 2001 and like um he was saying that there was like a different band that existed that was like max and them but i i un i kind of feel like there was a mix in translation because he did point out like the max and them old logo so i'm wondering if it was like i'm just wondering if it was like maybe maximam like was a thing with before like starting their own pieces and or maybe they had pieces that like people whoever like documented it being in 2001 like didn't know of or like i don't know after visiting Japan, it seemed like a lot of places could very well have just been like small boutique things that like sold maybe their own personal items, but like a lot of things that were like possibly like trendy at the time just to like, um, like have like a little like small business business thing and then like those brands becoming their own thing, um, or falling off. Like that's kind of what I'm wondering if like maybe like we just don't know that it started like earlier than that or maybe it wasn't really like super official like i don't know i wonder about that but i do remember there is like some resource online that said it was like from the 90s at some point like it was like 96 or something that someone it was like on some wiki that i saw it on so i don't know that's something that we should research like be interesting but um i got some things from then mainly like t-shirt stuff so I got this cute t-shirt because I like to do proto looks with like t-shirts and camis. So this is like a man shirt, da da da. It's got like their little mascot. And I thought the back was really cute on the bottom is like Maxi Man. Um Maxis Man, sorry, I say it wrong or I don't know. <laughs> I tongue twist so many things. Okay, um, and then there's also like a little, yeah, this little like tag thing, which I always thought was really cool. Um, and then I got this awesome tie with the Maximum, Maximum, uh, mascot and 
is just really cool. I like ties a lot, so. I like ties, I just need to incorporate them more. I just don't wear like proper blouses all the time and that's why. Um, I got this really cute, very 90s looking like tank. I don't know, I thought it was really cool. And the bag has like a flaw on it. That was really cool. Very proto looking. And then, uh, Ribbon pointed out this old piece, like old stock piece. It's so cute. I love it. I don't know if it reads really well on the camera, but it's so cute. I love ties like this. And he gave us free gifts. Um, I got this really cute beanie. It's like an Alice looking graphic on it. And then um, we thought these were tote bags. So this is actually arm warmers, which I kind of love because Maybe it cringes out some people, but I kind of love arm warmers and leg warmers. I think they're like so cute in 90s and 2000s, so I chose like the most 90s, 2000s like graphic out of the selection. So only like one side is like this and the other one is plain. And then got a catalog, which is really cool. Some catalog stuff. And a postcard, a little circus thing. And then I got a keychain with a man with a little man mascot. Uh, yeah, I thought it was really cute. So that's my mamster. And then I also wanted to show this really quick. I got these really cool, uh, like flared out leg warmers from Spins. They also have these really cool denim ones that I didn't end up getting, so I was like, do I need those? But those ones are really cute. And then I think probably the the last but not least that I have, I got this JSK. I don't remember the title of it. I'm really bad at remembering names of things, but I'll put it on the screen. But I got this beautiful JSK because I was like, I need to buy like some type of main piece, like I'm literally in Japan, like I should buy one. Um, and I thought about getting like a blouse because you know, blouses are awesome. And like they have th the really cute old blouses in um, Baby right now, like the old school looking ones, but they're expensive. And I don't know why I'm always like, I don't like spending a lot of money on blouses. I know that's probably like not good. A lot of people probably do that. And I don't know, man, it's just hard for me to justify. So I know they're versatile, they're like way more versatile, so it makes sense, but it's just like, I don't know. So I got this main piece and I, it caught my eye because I like yellow and obviously it kind of reads like ivory and again, like, honestly, that would be cute together. Um, but I honestly just really like this part, like the top a lot. I don't know if I'm going to wear it with this really, like. I'm just glad it's a detachable bow, obviously, most of the time it is. But I just love the ribbons and like, it's kind of like, I don't know what you call it, like, it's not linen, but it like it has that kind of like old linen look. I don't know, I just thought that this was like so cute. And I got to try it on, which was a cool experience. It was so hot, bro. It was so hot, I was sweating. Um, <laughs> The shop girl was so sweet, but I was like, inside the fitting room trying this on and I was like getting nervous because I was like what if I can't like get this off or something while I'm sweating I, I just felt really bad because I was like I mean I was obviously wearing a lot of like underclothes and stuff that like they like make you put on but I was just like this is the most uncomfortable experience <laughs> I was regretting trying it on because I didn't really need to try it on like the shop girl just asked if I wanted to because obviously I'm buying like a $250 dress or whatever so why would I not try that on? And I was like, yeah, that's a good point. I should try that on. Um, I was hoping that they might have this in um, some of the other colorways. I think they have like a sax version, which I thought would be really cute too. But honestly, I'm a yellow girly like in my day-to-day -day life. And this is yellow, but honestly reads as ivory a little bit too. And because I have like so many ivory and white pieces already, like it just makes sense. So I like it this colorway anyways, like I'm not complaining at all. Um, but the reason why, oh, well, here, she also talked me into getting, like, this half bonnet that matches it perfectly. Um, she didn't really have to talk 
me into it that hard or anything it, i was already thinking about it and i was like do i really need it mm. and then she was like this would be so cute together and i was like girl you're right so <laughs> i bought it like which was probably such an easy sale like um ignore my wrist cups that keep on time but the reason why i say i was like oh a saxophone would be really cute is not only this and this but The Kumia is gonna get him. She's gonna wear this. Oh, so cute. I think I'm gonna put her in this today with my Kumi. And I'll show you. But I have always was like, I don't know. These are kind of ridiculous because they're so cute, but they'd be expensive. They are pretty expensive. But again, I was like, I'm balling. Like, I should just. This is my probably the time I'll buy it. And it's so cute. Like, I have not put it on her yet, but man, the little bloomers, they got me with it. And I would have gotten a different color, but again, like, this was the only one they had, and honestly, that's okay. Like, I just wish that I could match with her better, so I'd like to get more sex so that I can, that I can match with her today. Like, that is so cute, man. Like, bruh. That is precious. Like so precious i don't know which one i'm gonna put it on yet i'll probably put it maybe i'll put it on the kumo we'll see but that's the end of this haul i know i talked your ear off probably left out information that i'd like to say or some objects that i somehow missed but um i had an amazing time i might make a, a little like topic video about my experience separate um but yeah let me know what you guys think tell me what your favorite object was um yeah i'll see you later bye